What's up, YouTube family? This is Jeff with a little bit of everything home services coming to you with another video. All right, so today I want to talk to you about um, your air conditioning system and, and talk to you about, in my opinion, some of the you know best decisions when it comes to air conditioning units, replacing your units, and uh, and how to get the most out of your units. Okay, no matter what unit you have, one thing you got to keep in mind is that when it comes to any system that you have, taking care of that system is the best way to maintain it. I mean, best way to keep that system going before it has to be replaced again. So uh, if you keep the general maintenance up on the, on the unit, just like anything, your car, you, you, a lot of people don't think about the air conditioning unit and the heat unit until it goes out. Your car, you, you think, well, some people may not think about their car until it dies on them, but most people are going to get the oil change. You're going to get it serviced if you want to keep it you know, keep it taken care of and keep repair costs down. It's the same thing for air conditioning unit. Most people don't think about it until it breaks down. But if you keep it up and you keep the maintenance on it, most system, no matter what system you have, is going to take care of you if you take care of it now. Um, but there are, hey, you get what you pay for. You know, I still, I'm a firm believer in you get what you pay for. And because I work for a commercial company that sells um, train equipment, I'm a little more partial to train. Now, I've worked on train. I worked on Linux, Carrier, Rain, um, some off-brand stuff you never heard of, and off-brands of those as well. So I've, I've touched a lot of different equipment, you know. But in my personal opinion, for me, at the top, for, if I'm going to put a system, if I'm going to replace a system in my house, it will be with a train. And why you say with a train, uh, and not, not to knock, this is not to knock the other, because carriers are really good units. Uh, Linux are really good units. Um, um, Reams are really good units. I mean, you can go, I can go on and on with the units that are really good units. You know, but I have to say that I've come across some train units that, did not get taken care of. I mean, they, it was like, I'm like, did they even do any maintenance on that? Though they were still going. I've come across 20 year old train units that are still out there kicking. I'm like, what? You know, get out of here. So, um, I just, I have to go off of my experience. Now, is that to say that I've come across carrier units that's been out there kicking for a long time? I've come across my, a ream. I came across a ream unit. Pat last summer that was like 15 years old. It was a little small unit, but it was still kicking, you know, because they took care of it. So I, I just like, I'm a more and more partial to train just because I work for train. Uh, well, work for a company that's a train distributor. But anyway, um, so I figured I would just drop this video right quick just to, to tell you, you know, those things as far as when it comes to that maintenance. If you're watching this, if you are HVAC tech or you're looking to get into HVAC field, make sure you tell people the importance of that. I'm Because I'm going to be honest, before I started doing heat and air, did you think I thought about my air conditioning unit or my heating unit until it went out? Honestly, I didn't. I didn't. You know, I didn't ever even thought about it. So that's just one of those things. So anyway, family, not to drag it on and on, but, but that's my opinion. Take care of your unit. It'll take care of you. Um, and and if get something if you're gonna replace a unit, you know get something that um, that's gonna have some longevity to it. Now, I gotta throw a disclaimer in here. Out of all those, you know, even trains my favorite. Now, if I could afford it, if you are out there and you have the money to do this, I mean, you just have a lot of money and you can afford a Mitsubishi VRF because you want to be able to have control. In different zones in your house, heating in one room, cooling in another room, all that. I mean, if you want to be able to do all this kind of stuff, you have a big, huge house, and hey, then a VR. I mean, those systems are nice. I mean, they are really, really nice. So anyway, not to drag it on. Anyway, family, thank you for taking the time to check out the video. Um, just some information I want to share with you. I want to thank you, and you have a blessed day. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.